Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, as you can tell by the title, I have a comparison video for you. It's uh, Arteza, uh, the Arteza Expert Color Pencils against the Castle Arts Color Pencils. Now, in terms of um, price, the, the kind of like the price bracket, the market that these pencils are aimed at, they're they're both very very similar markets that they're aimed at very similar price points things like that so they're they're two really good pencils to pit against each other to try and see which one is better or if there is one that's better that type of thing before i get into the review and i will have a timestamp down below so if you want to skip this uh talking bit uh you can do just go straight into the review but i want to make a couple of, i just wanted to to speak about a couple of things before i get into the review so the first thing i want to talk about is these comparison videos. I occasionally get people email me or message me and they say, you know, Harry, we, we want to know which one is your favorite, which pencil is your favorite, um, and that'll help us. Uh, and I, I, I tell them the same thing as I'm going to say here now. I don't want people to go out and buy colored pencils or any art supplies based on what I like. The, the whole point of doing these comparison videos is I do the tests to the best of my ability that I can, as scientifically straight as I can, um, present the results to you on video and over on the Art Gear Guide, the, the written review, so that you can click on the images that I present, enlarge those images and inspect the results for yourself uh, and determine which pencil you think is best for you, uh, that type of thing. If I were to just come out and say, right, okay, I think pencil X is better than pencil Y, I, I don't think it would be very beneficial for anybody else, you know, watching the video. I think a lot of people would go out and buy that pencil based on what I had said, get it, and it not be right for them. Um... And, and I hate it when that happens. Already I'll get, sometimes people, I mean, more often than not, I get people saying, you know, your reviews are incredibly helpful, that type of thing. Sometimes I'll get people saying, I bought these pencils based on your review, didn't like them, not very good at all. Now the person, anybody that sends me that or comments on that, they're not being horrible, they're just saying that those pencils weren't right for them. And it, it destroys, it, it doesn't destroy me, I, I hate it when people say that because I, I feel responsible for them buying the pencils and spending a lot of money um, and, and I just hate that feeling. Whereas when I, when I hear from people saying, oh I bought a set of pencils based on your review and I love them, it's exactly what you said it was in the review, I, I get really, really excited and thrilled about that and I love that. But I know that that's just part and parcel of doing the reviews. But I just don't want to complicate the situation even more by putting two pencils against each other and then saying which pencil I like best. Now, second of all, um, although this is a comparison video, it's um I only had the 72 set of Arteza color pencils, whereas I had the 120 set of the Castle Arch color pencils. I, I selected pretty much the same colours in any case because as you can see the, the images that I've done are um identical images. I drew one out, traced it, and then just moved it over to this one so that everything was exactly the same. Uh and like I say, I, I selected as close to as I could get. The, the colors. Now a while ago I put out a video um, about, uh, I think it was talking about how to become a, a, a reviewer on YouTube and I mentioned on there uh, that I had a, an incident with a company uh, and it, nothing to do with the company, it was just the way I personally took it and, I, and it was silly of me to do it but I was explaining kind of like you know the ups and downs of doing reviewing and a lot of people worked out and commented on there that the company I was talking about was Arteza because I never mentioned it. Uh, and since a lot of people worked it out and knew which company it was, I just want to make a couple of things clear here in this comparison. 
I don't have any affiliations to any of these companies. In fact, I don't have affiliations to any company. If a company sends me out a product to, to review, I always let you guys know whether they've sent it out or not. And it has no bearing on whether I, you know, favor the product or I don't favor the product. More often than not, I don't tell you what, whether I like the pencil or whether I don't. I just tell you what, um, how it performed. Um, so I just wanted to, I just want in the in the name of transparency, I just wanted you to know that because if you watch that other review, you might be thinking, all right, okay, so he's he doesn't really like Arteza in any case. And basically all it was with Arteza was when they very first came to light, they would send out their products to smaller review reviewers like me. And for the first year, I was bombarded with loads of products from Arteza. As Arteza became more and more popular, quite rightly, they have started reaching out to much, much bigger channels. Um, but th that's just the name of the game. At the time, I took it a little bit, I felt a little bit used, that type of thing. But I never had any affiliate, I, I never signed anything with Arteza. They never promised me anything. They never said, you know, do this for us and we'll do this for you or nothing like that. So... It was just me being stupid at the time, um, but uh, and that's all the problem was. And subsequently, as a result, now th they don't send anything out to me or anything like that. But my aim of doing these reviews is not for the companies; it's to show the product to you. So it's immaterial whether they send the product out to me or whether I buy it. The results are still the same in terms of the videos that I put out. So I just wanted to make all those things clear before we got onto this comparison video. So another th before, just before I get in, apparently now uh, Arteza with the newer sets of pencils that they have on the market, like the uh, the hundred and twenty set. Apparently, the ingredients that are in those pencils, th those pencils are a little bit different from the very first pencils that they first started coming out with. Now, I have the first pencils that they started coming out with, so you've got to take that into consideration. This comparison is from the Arteza pencils from when they first came out, not the newer ingredient ones. Uh, I've not tried those yet, I, I, so I've got no reference on those. As you can see here, I've done these two images. Uh, this one here was done by Ar the Arteza pencils. Uh, this one here was done with the Castle Arts pencils. Um, I have kind of like two color charts here that I used. So this was the color chart that I used for the um, Arteza color pencils. Uh, and this was the color chart that I used for the Castle Arts. Now there's a couple of extra colors on here because I was able to use them because I had the 120 set of the Castle. Uh, but you can see that they're they're very similar. You know, the greens and all are very, very similar. Uh, the peaches and oranges, that type of thing, reds, all very similar. Um, but I, I just wanted to show those and these will be over images or anything I show you here, images will be available over in the Art Gear Guide so that like I say, you can click on the image, zoom into it, enlarge it, inspect it in any way you want to, uh, to give yourself a better feel of what's going on here. Now, the paper that I done this particular drawing on was the Strathmore 400 series mixed media paper, which is an excellent paper. Uh, it's got a nice tooth on it, but it's still got a smooth smoothness to the paper, um, and it and it's quite a strong paper, so it holds up well to layering. Both these both these pencils. Now I do have individual reviews of both these pencils, uh, which I'll have linked down below, and you can go across and take a look at the individual reviews if you like. I found with the Arteza pencil on this particular drawing that when I got to a certain amount of layers, so like about maybe about the sixth or seventh layer of adding another color on, it started to get that kind of um, kind of like a plasticky, oily feel on top, and it was starting to resist a little bit the the layer. But like I say, that was up and around about the sixth or seventh. Uh, layer and I don't use any solvents in in anything I do color pencil related. The Castle Art pencils they seemed a little bit drier so they seemed to um, 
to layer better, especially on this mixed media paper, than what the Arteza pencils did. When I was using the Arteza pencils, because I'd done the Arteza drawing first of all, I, I looked at... I was really impressed with the, the pigment levels and stuff like that. I was doing light layers. By the way, you, you can see a speed drawing of both of these. I'll have a link for that down below. And again, you can watch the process come together. But um, I was really impressed with the pigment level of the Arteza. And I was, you know, happily, even when I was putting the light layers down and stuff like that, the pigment levels were there. And then when I went to the Castle Arts, the, the, there was just... Uh, a much more enhanced level of the pigments. Now, I've done a little um, test here, okay? So, again, I'll have this over in the Art Gear Guide and you will be able to uh, check it out for yourself. So, as you can see, the top the top section here is the Arteza test. So, you, I mean, you can tell by looking at this the uh, the colors are very very similar, um, except for the the yellows. Uh, I I selected the wrong yellow. I should have selected a slightly uh, deeper yellow in comparison to this one. But I changed the yellow over the Arteza yellow over when it came to the blending. But um, this is the layer and test. So what I've done is for the first one, two, three, four, five, six squares. They're, they're all layers so by the sixth square I've done six layers so this one's got one layer two layers three layers four layers five layers and six layers this last one is just one heavy application of the pigment so you can see here with the red the yellow the blue that's more like a, an aqua blue but um, this is the, the pencil that I used here it's a robin egg blue they call it uh, and the green here the the pigment levels are there, it's nice, and um, especially, you know, e even right down at the, the first one here, it was very, very light. When I was doing this, I was holding the pencil right at the very end, and um, the, the pigment levels were, were nice. With the Castle Arts, again, down here, same type of tests. This la These last boxes here have got just one heavy application. When it came, to, I mean, they all performed very, very similar whenever it was doing doing this layer and test. But when it came to this last test here, the again the Arteza seemed to have kind of like that, um, like a sheen or on it. Whenever whenever I was doing the um, the heavy application, it got to a point where it was there was like a sheen on it. Whereas with the, the Castle Arts, because they were drier, they didn't seem to have that, that finish on the top, which meant that I, I could just keep going and going and going with the Castle Arts. Um, uh, up here at the top, you can see I've used a red and a yellow Arteza, and it's created, it's blended really nicely, and it's created this nice orange. Um, and see, likewise here with the blue and yellow, it's created this really nice green. If you look down here then, um, with the Castle Arch pencils, um, I've done a blue and a blue and a yellow. Again, it's created a nice green and the yellow and red has created a nice orange. I guess you're going to have to make up your mind which one you think has blended the best. Uh, which one has created the nicest colour. Uh, I've done a little bit of a test here with the two blacks. So I've just done one light application, five light layers, and then one heavy application. And as you can see, bearing in mind this is a mixed media paper, as you can see here that the Castle Art pencil covered the paper better than what the Arteza one did. Um, you can still see a little bit of grey in a paper through the... Um, the black one here and again I will have images of this over on the art gear guide now these red streaks here that I have um, are just this is like a light layer this is a like a medium pressure layer uh, same down here and I'm just gonna do like an eraser test on this okay so just to show you how well or or not as the case may be that these uh, pigments lift off so with the um, 
So I'm going to do the RTs first. So I'll just zoom in here a little bit for you. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do a, a putty eraser first. So I'm going to do this light layer. And then I'll come down because the, the, the reason why I do this test is because uh, color pencil artists will, will know that when you, the re, one of the reasons why you work in um, layers, light layers, as opposed to just whacking the color down is because you can lift off those layers with the, with the putty eraser uh, or a kneaded eraser uh, and bring those layers back a little bit if you need to. Um, Obviously, with if you put down one heavy application, or like in the case of this medium one, that's going to be a much, much harder process because you've damaged the tooth of the paper and the pigment as well in there. So you can see here it's not worked out very well. So I've got a pencil eraser. Uh, I'll just do this in the middle. Now, re apparently red is notoriously uh, a harder pigment to remove, which is the reason why I've used red. So you can see there... Um, it's not lifted off too well on the on the medium application here. It's um it's done okay. It's not it's not removed it completely. Uh, and then I've got this little um, battery operated eraser. And then down onto this heavier application. So there you go, that's the, the eraser test there on the Arteza. Now I'm going to go down onto the Castle Arts. Uh, same type of thing, light layer at the top, medium layer at the bottom. And um, And then we'll go with the, the pencil eraser. I would say with the uh, Castle Arts, it's made uh, a little bit more of an, um, a, a difference with the, the needed eraser test. So And then the uh, battery eraser. There we go. So I have to say, right? Okay, I've I've. I try to make these these uh, these tests as I try to make these tests as scientifically accurate as I possibly can in terms of I, you know I can't guarantee the exact same pressure on every pencil on every stroke on every test that I do but I try my very best to do that. Um, so you can see here with the images that I'm showing you of the eraser test that the, the Castle Art pencils seem to perform a little bit better on that eraser test. With the other ones there, you'll have to use your own eyes and, and look at these images yourself and see which one you think is performed the, the, the best. Okay, so as always, uh, I'm just going to do some um, opaque or translucency testing okay so uh, I'm just going to put down these colors on this black paper so I'm going to do the Arteza pencils first along the top here 
Uh, all I'm doing here is I'm just layering down or putting down one heavy application um, of each pencil. Uh, all that does is it just shows you really the the translucency of the pencil or the opaqueness. So if the if the pencil is opaque, it means that it's nice and thick. The the pigment is thick, and uh, you can't really see the black of the the paper underneath it. If it's translucent, that just means that you can see through it. Some some color pencil artists prefer the pencils. Like uh, a lot of people would say, the polychromos are, are kind of like a translucent, especially the polychromos white. Um, with this this blue on this Arteza, I would say out of all three colors that I've just put down there so far, uh, or all four colors, the this blue is much more opaque than the other three. Uh, and then I've got the Arteza white. And so I'll just put a, a heavy application of that down. And then down at the bottom here, sorry, just let me zoom in a little bit there for you. Next, I'm going to do um, the castle arts, and I'm just going to do exactly the same order as I did with the Arteza. So start off with the green. Uh, yellow um, Red these reds are kind of like both a, a scarlet cadmium type red uh, That this this red here is quite opaque uh, And then the blue Uh, and finally, the castle art white. So, from from my perspective, it looks like the Arteza white is much more opaque than the um, the castle arts white. So, just let me let me do a side by side comparison. So. And then the castle. Yeah, I definitely think that this is um quite clear to see the difference. Let me just I'll have an image popping up here in any case so you'll be able to see it properly because uh, the lights glare off here. Let me move those over a little bit, you might be able to see. Um, so that's the testing on the black paper as I always do. Uh, just to give you a little bit of an um, insight into the translucency or the opaqueness of the pigments whenever you're using them. So in terms of the pencils themselves, um, the Arteza pencils do have light fast ratings. Um, there's always been a little bit of controversy surrounding the Arteza light fast um, ratings. Not a lot of people understand them. Uh, I know I can remember at the very beginning when people were uh, reviewing these pencils, they were contacting the company and asking is because they work on a star system. So three is the highest and one is the lowest. And that was the issue. Some people were being told that uh, if a pencil has three stars, it means it's the most light fast. If it has one star, it is least light fast. And then other people were being told that the one star means it's most light fast and the three means it's least light fast. So there was a little bit of confusion at the beginning when that happened. And I think that was pretty much cleared up. But 
uh, they they do have a light fast test and are rating on the pencil. They also have the pigment name on the pencil, and um, obviously on the other side of the barrel, you've got the company name. Uh, it says expert here on the the barrel as well because that's what they Arteza classes as their expert color pencils. With the Castle Arts pencils, uh, there is no light fast testing as of yet. I do know that Castle are looking into this. Um, the the pencil is slightly different in that with the Arteza, the entirety of the barrel indicates the pigment that you you're going to get. With the Castle Arch pencil, they have this black matte finish, and then they have this like uh, inch long, inch and a quarter long pigment identifier at the end. The pigment names are printed on the barrel, uh, as is the number here. Uh, and then obviously the Castle logo on the the opposite side, and Soft series written down here, a little bit like the Arteza has the Expert series. Um, what I will say about these two pencils is the when I was using handheld sharpeners and stuff like that, the Arteza pencils. So let me just show you what I mean. Um, so the Arteza pencils sharpened really well. Uh, they got a they got to a really nice point, uh, and. Turned out really well. I got the same result with the Castle Arts, but for some reason, and I it's obviously something to do with the wood that is being used in the Castle Art. The Castle Art pencils are tougher to sharpen if you're using a handheld sharpener. Now it's a little bit different if you're using like a um, a hand crank sharpener. But if you, if for those that have to use the um, handheld sharpeners, there is definitely a difference. Now let me just zoom in here so you can see what I mean. And I know this is really nitpicking; it's really silly. People might think it's a bit odd. But if you look at the shaving here of the pencil, the the Castle Art pencil, it's kind of like frayed. It's all over the place, um, and that's more to do with the the quality of wood. Now, if you look at the um, the Arteza, it's not as it's not as frayed and and it's come off more uniform than the other. Now, it's not a big deal, this, but it just for anybody that doesn't have one of those hand crank sharpeners. The the Castle Arts for some reason, and it, like I say, it's I think it's probably just down to the wood they are a little bit difficult to sharpen and I've changed the blades on my sharpeners as well so because I thought maybe at first it was that but it wasn't uh, so there is that in terms of how the pencils perform and they lay down on the paper the Arteza if I bought into the thing, the whole wax oil type pencil, I would say that the Arteza has a more oily feel to it whenever you're putting it down. But it's the both of the pencils have a soft lay down. Uh, but the Castle Art pencil, when it's laying down, is a little bit drier than what the Arteza one is. Um, which, for, for in my opinion, allows you to get a lot more layers with... The, the castle than, than I could with the Arteza. Um, like I say, their pigment strengths were really good, but when I was doing this drawing, um, I could tell a significant difference with the castle art pigments over the Arteza pigments. Don't forget, bearing in mind, I'm using the first batch of Arteza pencils that came out. I'm not using the newer ingredient pencils that Arteza have recently brought out. And always when I do these comparison videos, I will, before I put down which one is which, I'll show them to my family. So I'll show it to my wife and say to her, which one do you think looks best? Or show it to my son. So they And they've got no interest in which one's better than the other. They're just looking at it with their eyes. And they they all selected the same one. And they selected, the, they thought that the, the Castle Art one was better looking because it was stronger colour. 
Um, so that's my testing for the Castle Arts and the Arteza. Now, in terms of sets available, in terms of pricing, I'll have that over in the Art Gear Guide, but in terms of sets available, Castle Arts only do a 72 tin and they also do like a wallet, 72 wallet. They also do 120 tin and they've now recently brought out 120 wallet as well. Uh, Arteza do a 48 set, 72, and now they've recently come out with their 120 set. Um, so Arteza have one set more than the castle, uh, but like I say, they both have 72 sets and 120 sets, just Arteza also have a much smaller 48 set. Their pricing is pretty pretty similar, only for the most part, I found the castle art's a little bit cheaper. Um, you've got to look around for that. And like I say, I'll have all the links and the proper prices over on the Art Gear Guide. I as always, I keep those on the written review so that I can change those accordingly. If I start mentioning prices on the videos, the prices are going to change and the video gets outdated. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a long one. These comparison videos always are. I want to try and make sure that I get all the information out there. And I know I spoke quite lengthy at the beginning, but like I say, you know, you could you can skip through that and just go straight into the review with the timestamp down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye.